All right. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I will be your tonight's entertainment. So yeah. Um. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's a. I know. Uh, for us Indonesians here, it is uh, post Idul Fitri holiday. It's a Monday, and by today, or maybe for me, it's tomorrow. No, uh, by today, and some of you maybe tomorrow. For me, it's tomorrow. We are back to work. We are going to back. We are going back to work to normal. Okay. Goodbye, holiday. Hello, stress. You can say, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm here to entertain you this Monday night. All right. This is Monday night basara. All right. We we have Monday night raw. Now I'm giving you Monday night basara. At least here in Indonesia, in um, I, I, well, I live in the Western Indonesian time zone near Jakarta. So yeah, it's a Monday night basara for you guys. Um, yeah. So this character we're going to uh, sorry this time we are going to play as Sarutobi Sasuke. Now you'll notice that Saru uh, Sasuke not Sarutobi. So yeah, I mean Sarutobi Sasuke. Sasuke is max level 999. Because last time we play Yukimura, our second character is Sasuke, right? So we maxed both Yukimura and Sasuke during our Yukimura stream. And also, hello, Tantoyo. From what we don't know, welcome. Yeah, I want to start early so that I can, you know, I can finish early and go to bed so that I can go to work tomorrow. It's going to be a quite a busy schedule for me because, like I said, uh, during uh, mid-Ramadan, the schedule for me is actually cranking up at work. Uh, especially at Ramadan. You think uh, a lot of you, a lot of people might think, oh, it's Ramadan, uh, work shouldn't be, like, you shouldn't work so hard because you should focus more on the, you know, on the rituals. Uh, the work should not be, like, a priority. It, it, like, I wish I could do that. It's just that, uh, actually, when, when it, I do want to talk a bit. Uh, what I'm doing in my real life job during Ramadan, no, 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 no. Things are like, work is not, cre uh, is not. Uh, easing down. It's actually the opposite. It's cranking up because I work with uh, oil companies. Um, I hope there are no issues with such copyright. No, no worries. Again, I use the mod. Uh, I use the mod in, uh, for the menu theme so that I don't have a double deal. And this is actually a hidden track for Seiyu Bahana 4, Sumaragi. And I feel like this music alone fits really well for the menu theme and characters like. Hello and Aranisa Icha, Profar, hello, 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 welcome, welcome, I, I, I hope you like gaming, I know you're from, uh, you're from the other channel, <laughs> right, you're from, uh, uh, you're from the Mr. Basketball Player, you know what I'm saying, yeah, you're from uh, Mr. Basketball Player's channel, but thank you so much for coming, by the way, uh, yeah, selamat datang ya, akan menemani malam Senin ini dengan Singgu Basara, uh, Sedikit informasi aja kita di sini uh, bahasa standarnya adalah bahasa Inggris tapi boleh juga pakai bahasa Indonesia kalau misalnya agak susah. Uh, I primarily speak English because um, you know I have a international audience so I want to uh, I I basically I basically when it comes to gaming I just I'm just more comfortable uh, talking about gaming in English. Uh, so that I don't know so like so that everyone can understand. Uh, as I was saying like Ramadan is actually cranking up and it's not helping as well that I I had a flu during Ramadan. Now I'm still in the process of recovering. Uh, the cough, the sneezing. Uh, luckily, uh, gracefully, it's uh, it's most of them are gone. But I, I'm still feeling the side effect of it. Like I, I'm still shivering. I'm still uh, uh, going back and forth to the toilet. Uh, it is what it is. So yeah, you know what? I, I'm, I'm talking too much here in the intro. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Okay. So we're gonna play Sasuke. Hardest difficulty. Hi, hi. Chanto hatarakimasu yo. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the uh the chit chats. Uh, dual stage. Uh, Zabi stage. Zabi, 
The women stage. Yeah. Alright, we have options. Uh, the women stage, one on one with Masamune or Zavi Land. So, we're gonna start with Zavi Land. Uh, okay. So, again, uh, I've collected all the weapons for both uh, Masamune, eh, no, Masamune, Sasuke and Yukimura. We're gonna start with the, of course, we're gonna start with the base weapon for both characters. I wanna go over the costumes first uh, before we go into gameplay. So, yeah, this is Sasuke's best, sorry, Sasuke's base outfit. Hold on. Okay, Sasuke's base outfit. Okay, this is Sasuke's uh, second outfit, which I think uh, this one is cooler. I do like this outfit. I kind of miss his um, second outfit in Seigo Basar 2 Heroes. Um, I wish again. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm asking too much. I wish I, I, I'm wishing too much. I kind of wish this game brought back the alternate outfit from Sega Ubasar T Heroes because a lot of them are really, really cool. So this is his second outfit that you unlock by completing the campaign. Uh, this is the third outfit. You buy it in the Basara shop with 10 camels. So yeah, this is, um, this is supposed to be a Takeda theme uh, a Takeda theme outfit with uh, red and green, but it looks more like a Christmas theme outfit, you know, with the colors. So you have the green inside and the red cloak, the red pants, and then you have those white furs. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like a Christmas outfit, or maybe it is a Christmas outfit. And the last one. So it's just his first outfit with the mask. This is actually in Basar to Heroes, by the way, but this version of, the, like, this outfit in Basar to Heroes, you cannot play. This is the first time this outfit, like as in his base outfit with the mask, is playable. Okay, we're gonna start with the default outfit. For Yukimura, just go over. This is his base outfit. Second outfit, by unlock it, uh, you unlock it by completing his campaign. And again, again I, I wish uh, the Basar 2 Heroes outfit was in this game, or maybe Yukimura deserves a better second outfit than this. This looks like a the, the second, like, the second outfit is supposed to be quote-unquote traditional or samurai-ish. Uh, samurai-ish, and that fits the, um, that fits the, you know, the tone of the game. Hey, hello, Grand Strategist. But this is a little bit too modern for Yukimura, uh, with the track suit. <laughs> or the track jacket. Okay, and this one is a DLC outfit. It's just his base outfit with Masabune's color, and he has a new chest plate inside. Uh, unlockable outfit, uh, third outfit. It's his base outfit with a with Shingen's helmet. Yeah, another un uh, another outfit that you unlock in the Basara Mark. It's just a recolor of his second outfit. And my personal favorite, Kazuchika Okada from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, by the way, uh, if you're watching wrestling, you know Okada is in AEW now. He's all elite. He's the new AEW Continental Champion. Masamune Yukimura learns to cover his chest. He learns to, learns to cover his chest, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I still, like... I still... Um, I'm still amazed that Capcom was able to do a collab project with New Japan Pro Wrestling in this game. Okay, so we're just going to use their base outfits. So here we start, here we go. As usual, we're going to break down his characters. Sorry, I, I'm going to break down his character. 
before completing the stage. Ya ini saya cek ganjang kayak guysnya bagus banget. Ah biasa. Masih terbata-bata. Triple H costume. Oh Hideyoshi. Or maybe Undertaker could fit Hideyoshi. Undertaker okay. Okay. Like I said, we're going to break down his character. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I'll wait until the dialogue uh, finishes out. Mana ada way itu udah lancar, Jai. Ini emoji hatinya ngalangin obat ngalangin ini sih lancar ke seluruh. Udah lancar Jaya. Could you ar archive these streams? I mean, I'm already yeah, of course. Like uh I mean, you can watch it, by the way. You can just, um, when I'm done with the stream, you can just watch it again. It's it's going to be on this channel. So, okay. Where was I? All right. Uh, Sasuke. Let's break down his moveset. As usual, every character has a string of normal attacks. And, hello. Sayang. Hola. Every character has a string of normal attacks and nine different special attacks. So, for Sasuke, he has eight strings of normal attacks. So, let's do the eight strings first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a very, uh, he's a very fast character, as expected for a ninja. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Now, let's move to his, okay, aerial normal attack. Yeah, he has a really good aerial combo. See there? Okay. Now let's go to his first special, the triangle. Triangle button. Ah bang, jangan gitulah, jadi malu pang, gil sayang. Your name is Sayang, okay? What do you want me to call you? Say Ang. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's up. Oops, I pressed it. Okay, first special attack, the triangle. Yeah, he summons a shadow. A shadow clone. Now you can extend this move by holding the triangle button. And if you hold the triangle button, he will jump to the location of his shadow, like this. See that? And when you do that, you can actually chain that with a normal attack combo. Uh, aerial normal attack combo, so... See? Now his jump charge, or jump triangle, is a ground pound, like usual. So let's do that combo. So you hold the triangle button, square, and then try... Oops. So let's do it. Hold triangle, square, then triangle. Yeah, something along those lines. Basically, you can basically by holding the triangle button, it guarantees you an air combo. Sayang got to be. Yeah, namanya sayang. Okay. Yaudah, sayang. Also, Tantio, bayangin kalau profile lagi demonstrasi menggunakan combo combo ya. Tiba-tiba tiga ngomong media media share ikan muter muter. Ah, no media share. Kayak channel sebelah. <laughs> no media share here. All right. I don't. I, it's been not, not as you mentioned. I haven't put any saweria or uh, those kind of you know those kind of uh, donation uh, donation things. I, I'm just not uh, again. I'm I'm just not in the need for those things right now. And again, I, I will not use media share on this game uh, when I'm playing this game, uh, so that I will not be interrupted. Okay. So where was I? All right. First normal attack done. Now second. Sorry, but first normal attack first. Special attack. Now the second special attack, front triangle. So this is his front triangle. So yeah, he basically um, throw his shuriken. It's basically like Fuma shuriken from Naruto. He has a shuriken and then he has the wire attached to it. So like this. And yeah, and uh, the ending of that move, you have the shadow clones assisting him. You see? Right. Now. You can extend that move by pressing the square button three times. So, one, two, three. All right, let's try, let's try that again. One, two, three. Ah, I got gold. Thank you. Uh, that move you can combo with the normal attack. So, you have a normal attack. Uh, uh, no, that's a terrible combo. So let's say you have a normal attack, then chain it with the front triangle. Uh, 
It, this is probably my favorite uh, special attack for Sasuke. Right. Now, uh, let's go to his third special attack. The hold square. Now, the his hold square special attack, it's basically a shadow extension of his normal attack. So, let's see. I press square. You see? It's just a regular attack. But if I hold square, you have this. See? There's a shadow following you. So basically, every um, every input of the normal attack will end with a shadow clone whenever you hold square. So let's say if I if I do normal attack and then I hold square in the end. Uh, no, no, that's wrong. Uh, let me do, let me do that again. Up, up, up. Yeah, see that. Uh, so, depending on when you land the hold square, it will uh, it will summon a shadow clone. Now, you can basically do eight strings with hold square. So, like this. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of uh, for me. It's actually kind of hard to pull this out. Let's try this again. See? There you go. Yeah, so every input, like every square input, uh, every input, when you hold square, he will extend his normal attack into uh, the Shadow Clones. Right, so let's move to his fourth special attack, the R1. This is probably my favorite one as well, outside of Front Triangle. So what he does is he summons a Vortex of Shadow Clones. Like this. Then he does a drop kick. So basically in this move, you you pull in enemies to that vortex, right? And you can extend the R1 special attack by repeatedly pressing the square. Like this. Observe. See? This move is a very good crowd control move. Okay, now uh we go to his block specials, L1 triangle and L1 square. Oh, but before we do that, let's do some combos uh, with what we have so far. So, I like to do... Oh, sorry, the R1, sorry, the R1, you can do it in the air. You see? You can do the R1 in the air. One more time. Yeah, it always ends with a drop kick. And, again, just like in the ground, you can extend it the R1 special by repeatedly pressing the square button, like this. Yeah. Okay, so let's do some combos uh, from what we have so far. So here's my combo. Square. Pulse triangle. R1. In the air. And... Boom. Again, one of the biggest... Uh, reason why Basara combat is complex other than the amount of moves you can do is cancel animation. So most of the moves that you do in this game are cancelable to the point where you can, you know, you can do, um, you can have a mixture of different combos as you like. So let's go to this, okay, let's go to his block special, L1 triangle. Uh, I pressed the wrong button, sorry. Oops. My bad. I want triangle. Let's do that again. Yeah, it's another crowd control move. Sasuke is a very crowd control character. Okay, so this is L1 triangle. You can extend that move by holding the uh, the L1 triangle button like this. You can do that in the air. So let's do this again. <coughs> Excuse me. L1 triangle. L1 hold triangle. And L1 triangle at the air. There you go. Now let's go to his second block special. L1 square. But unfortunately ending R1 takes a long time to wake up. So it can get attacked. Itu yang kurang. Yeah, I know. Um, you need to be careful when you use that against the boss. So L1 square. 
Again, he sucked his opponents in. And this is a launcher attack, which you can combo with an R1. Yeah, you can do that in the air as well. So, again, this attack sucks your enemies in and then launch them up to the sky. The same goes when you do it in the air. Yeah, that's just a sample combo. Now, with all of them, uh, now with all of the basic special attacks out of the way, let's go to his R2. Now, his first R2 is probably my favorite R2. Yeah, again, uh, a lot of his attacks involve crowd control. It's kind of like, this one is very similar to his R1, but the only different, uh, the only big, the biggest difference is that this has, this has a larger scale. Now, you can do that move. Sorry, you can extend that move by pressing the square button or repeatedly pressing the square button. So observe R2. Sorry. Which we can, you can do that in the air as well. You can start that move in the air and it will have the same effect. There we go. Now on to the next R2. Yeah, this is a counter move. So you need to get hit first to perform this move. Oh, sorry. Now, the final R2 attack. He's basically controlling his shurikens with a wire. So, like this. Is he? Yeah, you can control these uh, shurikens. You can attack by using the square button. Go left and right, or up and down. Yeah, this is okay for me. I I'm not too crazy with, that with this attack. But it's cool, nonetheless. So... You know what, with all of his movesets being breaked down, means like being broken down, let's start the game. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, Sasuke has a double jump, or like a unique double jump, because uh, he's a ninja character, so counter attack itu bisa bang, kalau nggak ada, nggak salah di udara. Oh, okay, let's see. You can do a counter attack in the air. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you can do the counter attack in the air. It will have a different move. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, as I forget, uh, also, hello, Aldi. Uh, because he's a ninja character, you can double jump uh, by pressing X and X. So if you press X and X, he'll summon a bird like this. And he can attack. Yeah, he has a different aerial attack. That's his normal and his charge. Ah, uh, he stops using the bird. Alright, let's get started. Let's uh, take out Zavi land. Okay, let's... Ah, there's the counter. Yeah, he, he does a spinning pile driver. See? I think that's a pile driver. Yeah, spinning pile driver. Yeah, so if it's uh, on the ground, it's a counter, but when it's in the air, it's a grab. <laughs> Sasuke's word is very black, I like it. See? Pow! Yeah, I'm 100% I I sure Sasuke took that uh, move from Zhang Yip. Sus? What sus? You, you like strawberry sus or chocolate sus? I like chocolate sus. No negative, okay? <laughs> Again, what sus do you like, Ali? Chocolate or vanilla? Did I say strawberry? I mean, I mean there are strawberry sus, right? 
行ってムレシギ can be very dangerous by the way Yeah, this is b a s a r a t a k Chocolate, nice. Sasuke's combo is cool, absolutely. <laughs> All the ninja is very good. All the ninja characters are very good. Sasuke, Kotaro, and even Kasuga. Yeah, we we're fighting the entire Kyushu gang here. The blind ninja Kotaro. This is him. Fuma Kotaro. Okay. I'm 
リーチに入って水回りが綺麗です Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Wait. Hush. Tingkatan combo kan mirip dengan Devil May Cry. Kalau DMC itu pakai meteran, sedangkan basah pakai angka. Yeah. This is this game has Devil May Cry as combos. <coughs> Except for the meter, you have a number of hits. Uh, Chester Kuroda. There can't be. So, you know, Josie, not Chester. Chester is a uh, Yoshiro. Yeah, I know how DMC combo works. Oh, hello, sick. Welcome. Ah, ah, darling. <laughs> Eight viewers, by the way. Thank you guys so much. Lovely Monday uh, night here. I know people don't like Mondays, but that's why I'm here to entertain your Mondays. <laughs> うんうんうんうん。はっはっ。<笑> Helicopter, helicopter. Yeah, they they look fun. To, they are fun to play, Stick. And here's the thing as well, they play completely different with each other. Every character in this game. Again, I'm talk. Uh, I said that this game uh, was developed by the team that made Devil May Cry. So, you, like, you can imagine how complex or how in depth the combat is for this game. And not to mention, this game has 40 characters, and everyone plays differently. Like, as much as I like Dynasty and Samurai Warriors, uh, the one common thing with the, the combat in Dynasty Warriors is that every character has a pattern when it comes to attacks. Now, in this game, every character has the same input buttons, but they don't play, like, they don't have patterns. Ah, Shikanosuke. I like Shikanosuke's theme. It, it feels like a homage to Saint Seiya. Yeah, like this move. Uh, this was taken from Devil May Cry. Like the stab move. Like, you see that multiple stab move Yukimura does? And this one as well. His, uh. His tornado. I, I, I'll, I'll call it a tornado kick. Dante has this move. And Devil May Cry 3. They're not just very fun, um, every character is not just very fun to play. They're very over, like, they're presented in the most over-the-top uh, way as possible. 
and it fits um, it fits the title Sengoku Basara. Um, I I've discussed this in my uh, Sengoku Basara video, saying that the word Sengoku Basara means so Sengoku came from the word Sengoku Jirai, which means the Warring States period of Japan because this these are characters based on historical figures of Japan. Basara means extravagant. So basically, it's the Warring States period of Japan in the most extravagant and outlandish ways possible. Shikaruzu can be really tough, especially with that deer on his side, Oyasan. This deserves a comeback, absolutely. The last game for Basara, I'm talking about like a, I'm not talking about the mobile game, okay? Well, the the, the last Basara game on console was in 2016. Lost to a deer, yeah. Hey, that deer is OP, by the way. That deer is OP as fuck. You mentioned that, Stick. This game has a fighting game spin-off. Th this game has a fighter, Sengoku Basara X or Sengoku Basara Cross for the PS2, and it was developed by Arxis. Uh, I I okay, I'll name it. I'll name drop it in the chat. You can look it up, Sengoku Basara X. Yeah, it was developed by Arxis and Capcom. Yeah, gonna fight the boss, Motonari and uh, Sorin. Uh, Sayang, <laughs> don't get any ideas. Yeah, it's just one X. Uh oh. Oh, Max 7, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Have I? Wait, hold on. Play any mobile games? I, I do, I do. Again, mobile games are not really my uh, cup of tea. I understand why it's so popular for a lot of people, and I'm not, uh, you know. I'm not demonizing or I'm not criticizing people for playing mobile games. I understand the appeal, but I personally um, prefer other games. Now, when it comes to portable games, I prefer to have a portable console. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, hold on, Ak. I need to finish off Motonari. Come on, come here. Spinning pile driver. I, I have not touched Genshin Impact. I, I get that Genshin Impact is in mobile, but uh, if it was up to, I'll play it on PC to get the best uh, experience. Because my phone probably couldn't handle Genshin Impact. How much time you wasted on grinding this game? Uh, first of all, grinding this game is not a time waster for me. I love playing this game. A total, if I say uh, the total number of gameplay is probably more than 300 hours. I, I just, like this is, 
this is those kind of game where I want to play an easy, like, you know, an easy to get into game to relieve my stress or, you know, kind of relax myself for the next two hours. Oh, So 10 characters on that Sengoku Masa X, how about all 40? Well, yeah, well, you have 10 char playable characters, so the rest are just assist characters. Uh, oh yeah, uh, considering Basara X came out after Basara 2, uh, you only have 30 characters in Basara 2 Heroes. Uh, this game has 40 characters, and again, some of the characters from previous games are missing in this character. So if like if you have the entire roster of single Basara from the first game until the last game, you'll probably have around 55, 55 characters. But um, the last single Basara game, single Basara Sanada Yukimura, then has 46 characters. This game has 40. So if we're talking about single Basara X, that game came out after Basara 2 Heroes, where the total roster is 30. So yeah, you have 10 playable characters. You have the rest of the, the rest of the characters are there as assists. For example, the character I'm playing here right now, Sasuke, right? Sasuke is not playable in Basar X. This character, Yukimura, is playable. And Sasuke acts as an assist character to Yukimura. Now, some characters, uh, you, again, you have 10 characters in Basar X. Some characters have two assist characters. Yeah, so they, 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 they didn't put every single character in the game, but they... Uh, but the, the rest of the characters that were not playable are assist characters. It's kind of like in Mortal Kombat 1, the cameo, right? You you have a roster of, uh, excluding DLCs, you have a roster of 23 characters, 23 playable characters, and then you have a roster of 17, uh, not 17, uh, how many is it? Um, wait, how many cameos you got? Um, I, I just I I just want to see how many char cameo characters you have. Fifteen. So you have fifteen cameo characters. Yeah, that's more or less in uh, Basar X. You have ten playable characters and then you have twenty assist characters. But the difference is in um, Basar X and MK One is that you cannot pick your assist characters. So assist characters are tied with the playable characters. Like example. Yukimura has two assist characters, Sasuke and Shingen. So you, but you, so you cannot, um, you cannot select your assist characters. They are tied, uh, they are tied with uh, specific characters that you pick in the game. All right, let's uh, switch outfits. Let's use the alternate outfit. Or um, maybe I want to use this outfit, yeah, the Christmas theme outfit. For Yukimura. Yeah, let's use the tracksuit. And for weapon. Let's use the green one, uh, Yukimura. Genshin Impact is suitable for iOS only for optimization, I think. Amaria, one of my favorite uh, girls in Basara. I told you, I like my uh, Arara mummies. Maria is one of them. Oh, 
I like Nagamasa in this game. Wait, hold on. Uh, check for something. Uh, I got uh, I got a DM. Nah, never mind. Bruh, this is just a nothing. Sorry about that. Let's continue.
今こそ進軍の陶器と存じますればまさに一気当選の働き見事なる助けろ<笑>あなたたちはなぜ一を望むの一対一にどうしてほしいの周りが不幸になってると思わないそんな一何もしてない何も悪くない行くばきの疲労は与えた拙者はここまでさらばだ友よ異なるどこかにてまた会おうぞ I like how I Arabian night the stages 結構強いんだマリアは待っています。
あなた見どころありそうだけど他にどんなことができるかしらあのまさそばどうして一<咳>のお話を聞いてくれないのあと一つ攻撃の手は緩めねえ覚悟しとけよみんなは構わないけれど長政様を殺してはダメ勝てこの戦勝てますぞ<咳><咳>兄弟になれるとは思わぬ思わぬやってみせよあら、雲行きが悪いのそうんキューソン、猫を噛む油断は禁物ですよ、大将。バスキー、バタルキー。ああ、はいはい。今行こう。So many enemies。Got them all。大将、今頃大喜びしてるから。はい。マリア is waiting for us。Let's greet her <coughs>。闇と炎の狭間よりいざ舞い上がれ最終正義ゲイゲン即断口を挟むは悪であるまったく姉上めどこまで恥をさらせば気が済むのだ許せ一嫁入り先はこのような長政様は悪くないわ悪いのは、うん、あんまし一路と見てるんだよ大将今こそ示すべき時か第,第三の携帯を強烈の朝アザイ長政無言アザイズダウンいかに姉上とて過ぎたるわがままは悪総員家族右に回って撤退せよライバーを抜けるなんていいわわがまさ様ではなくビッチなのならこの子たちかわいいでしょほらほら聞きなさいあなたに傷がついてしまうのいるんだよねオタクラみたいな死にたがりがさでんのおいちーず I'm gonna be a threat I mean おいちーず quite a threat Maria, here I come. Anata Momata, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Player has a, such a good theme, especially her vocal theme is really good. I'm 
Does her pinball Muso attack? Spinning pile driver. だって追いかけてきてね。それがあなたの宿命。わらわがそう決めたのだから。捕まえてみな。捕まえてみな。おお、しまった。じゃ、行かせてもらうわ。意外と背ってるものが大きいんだよね。俺様。Okay. Well, that took that took quite a long. I mean, my stage is rather long. Toma, konna kanji de jinchou ni susunde tta wake sa. Senri, Ushu no kitsu ga Ushu no chi o senkyo shita mo yo. Mogami. Mogami. おしゅ。せいは。素敵しいしの髭に。可能はないのである。沢山から妙に楽しそうな声が聞こえてきます。うん。ほい。ふ、吹いてるね。あ、遊んでる場合じゃないよ。出てきて、天界様。白と黒の決め取りが華麗に凛縮舞いますよ。これも我らの生き様だ。Alright, we have three options. I'm going to go and Mogami. わかるかい。実物はもっとすごいぜ。話じゃ伝えきれないんだけどさ。いやなんつうか。とにかく熱いんだわ。変なとこでつまずいたりもするけど、基本的に何が何でも突き進むってな人だし。俺様としても見てて
Okay. I'm back, so let's get started. Hi, hi, to. ま、いっか。そういえば聞いたことがある。髭を極めた紳士はとんでもない跳躍で逃げ回ることができると。This is a very gimmicky stage. A very interesting gimmicky stage, nonetheless. <laughs> And hello, Smiley. Right on time. Ah. Uh, welcome. Ha hope you have a good Monday. Ah. Uh, Yoshiaki is buff, or like he, he's in Super Saiyan mode after drinking sparkling tea. So you can't attack him in this state. Sasuke, new character in Basara 4? No. He's a character since Basara 1. Again, we're gonna focus on the Basara 1 characters first. So I'm gonna do the live streams in order based on their appearance. The, the new characters in Basara 4 are going to be like very, very last uh, on the uh, live streams. <laughs> yeah, this stage is a very gimmicky stage where you have to jump from one uh, catapult, I can say, to another to prevent uh, Yoshiaki from drinking sparkling tea. Does Basara cut roster? Kinda, yeah. Um, it does, it does cut roster, so... It's okay, so from Basara 1 to 2, they didn't cut any roster. So you went from having 16 characters in Basara 1 to 22 characters in Basara 2, and then 30 characters in Basara 2 Heroes. But in Basara 3, yeah, they cut the characters in Basara 3. They cut the roster in Basara 3 to make, a, to make a better combat, which they did. You know, they, they cut the roster to have the combat better. So Basara 3 only has 16 characters, and then Basara 3 Utage has 30 characters. Now, both Basara 3 Utage and Basara 2 Heroes have 30 characters, but uh, almost half of the characters in Basara 2 Heroes did not return in favor of uh, the newcomers. Now, Basara 4 Subragi here, I believe you have 40 characters. So all of the characters in Basara 3 Utage returned in this character, except one, Hojo Jimasa. Yeah, there's only one character from Basara Fuyutage that did not make a return in this game. So yeah, it does cut roster. And then the last one, Basara... Um, was it? Basara Ikimura Den has 46 characters. But in that game, you have three different versions of uh, Yukimura and Masamune. So there are three Yukimura and three uh, Masamune in that game. That's considered to be a different character of their own. So yeah, it does cut roster, but the difference is, is that in uh, Sengu Basara, when Capcom cut the roster, they make the combat better. The game, like, 
the gameplay had an overhaul, but not like, um, how do I say it? Uh, okay, I want to explain this. Um, Bastard 2 to Bastard 3 had an overhaul, right? Had an overhaul, but it did maintain what works in the previous game. For example, so, sorry. Uh, in Master 1 and 2, the game, how the gameplay works is that you have a normal attack and you have uh, your normal attack and you have the special attacks. But uh, in Master 1 and 2, you can only equip two special attacks for one character as like, uh, during battle. Uh, so you, because you press triangle to do special attacks and then R1 to uh, switch... Uh, uh, so not R1, L1. L1 to switch, spe uh, switch special attacks, right? But in Bastard 3, what Capcom did is that they made one... It's a minor change, but it creates an overhaul in the entire game. Instead of having pre-equipped special attacks, you can perform diff you can perform multiple special attacks in uh, in one go, like uh, during battle. So you don't have to pre-equip... Uh, you, you don't have to pre-equip two special attacks before the battle in the preparation. You can perform... Uh, five special attacks in um, uh, during gameplay. Now, the only special attack that you need to pre-equip is R2, because there are three R2, uh, there are three R2 special attacks in Boss R3, but you can only use one per battle. So that's the only special attack that was pre-equipped. But in terms of the animation, the movesets, they were taken straight from Boss R2, in fact, some characters had new animation or had new moveset in Basara 3. So, that's what I'm saying as well. Like, um, Basa, Sengoku Basara... Uh, so, I, I consider uh, two different eras in Basara. Classic and modern. Uh, so, classic is PS2, uh, PS2 era. Basara 1 and 2. And then the modern is Basara 3 and 4. Uh, I prefer Basara 3 and 4 in terms of combat. But Basara 1 and 2 are good in their own rights as well. Yeah, that's the biggest difference. Uh, is that you can do... Special attack, all the special attacks uh, in battle in Basara 4, but in the previous Basara games, like 1 and 2, you can only perform 2. Now, again, in Basara 3, you have to pre equip the R2, um, the R2 special attacks, but in Basara 4, you can do all three R2 special attacks, or you can switch R2 special attacks during battle. So you don't need to pre equip them in, uh, you don't need to pre equip them in the preparation menu. You can just perform any R2 attacks that you want in battle. So that's... And of course, this game also has new movesets for characters. So that's the thing. Sengoku Basara improves on what they have in the previous game. I like to compare uh, Sengoku Basara when it comes to how they improve the series, like Tekken. Tekken uh, is a game where as the series go, uh, as the series progress, they don't really change much from what they had. But they give like, but but they um, they constantly add improvements while barely or again almost never, almost never take away the things that we are familiar in the previous games. Like for example, if you play Tekken Five with Jin Kazama, most of his move sets are in Tekken Eight. In, in fact, you have the move set. Uh, you have in fact his move set is improved. His move sets in Tekken Eight uh, are extended. You have new moves in Tekken Eight, but most of the moves that you are familiar with from Tekken 5 is still there. Same goes with Li Chao Lan. Li Chao Lan has all of his moves in Tekken 5, or most of them, and Bandai Namco added new moves for Li Chao Lan in Tekken 6, 7, and 8. Some moves are altered, right? Like, for example, some knockdown moves are altered into a, a launcher, but you get what I'm saying. Like, Bastard did that as well. Now, I kind of want to discuss this a bit, um, because I mentioned this in your comment. By the way, uh, Shout out to Smiley. Um, I want to share his video. Uh, if you, if you're done with the stream, uh, everyone, do check out his uh, video about uh, Dynasty Warriors remasters. Uh, should like, should uh, Koei do an HD collection? Uh, yeah, that's Smiley's video. Do check him out. Subscribe to his channel once you're done with the stream. Once I'm done with the stream, uh, as I was saying, like a lot of the complaints that I've seen in the Musou community about Dynasty Warriors or um, yeah, a lot of the complaints on how they improved them. I find it always I find it interesting that Basara. Much love, Profar. You're welcome. I find it interesting that Basara, even though it's the lesser known title, but Capcom 
always put one step uh, always had one step forward with the series compared to in terms of their implementation in terms of what capcom implement in the series capcom was always one step ahead than koei and a lot of the complaints that people had about modern warriors games capcom has already fixed it or has already done it in basara i list them one by one right in your comment section the first one People wanted, oh, I want a uh, HD remaster or HD collection of their PS, of the classic Dynasty Warriors PS2 games. I don't know why we never got that. Guess what? Sengoku Basara had an HD collection of their PS2 games on PS3. Sengoku Basara HD collections, where uh, HD collection where you have you when they when they remastered Basara One, Basara Two, and Basara Two Heroes. Again, Basara the Cap Capcom did it first with Basara compared to Koei. Yet here we are. Uh, three console generations later, we never had an HD collection or HD remaster of uh, Koei's classic Dynasty Warriors games. That's number one. Number two, I've seen a lot of people saying uh, how they don't like that Dynasty Warriors constantly do overhauls. Like, so every, every time Dynasty Warriors does an overhaul, right? Uh, every time Dynasty Warriors did an overhaul, it ended up ruining the game. Like from Dynasty Wars 5 to 6, people think, uh, people think, oh, 6 shouldn't be an overhaul. Or like the overhaul, like whenever Koei tried to revamp Dynasty Wars, it always comes out half ass, right? From 5 to 6. Um, from 5 to 6, uh, you you get the story, right? From 5 to 6, it's, a ma it's an overhaul and the combat wasn't received well because it's, uh, it's either a string of normal attack or a string of charge attacks. It, it actually made the combat somewhat more dumbed down. And then they went back in seven, like they went back to having normal charge attack, uh, normal charge attack combat in seven and eight. So you have seven, and then eight improved on what seven had. And then when you get to nine, it's another overhaul. And when they did another overhaul, the combat guess what? The combat becomes more dumbed down, right? The combat is even more dumbed down than what they had they had in Dynasty Warriors eight. Um, and then uh, that's the complaint. That's one of the complaints about the gameplay of uh, Dynasty Warriors with the newer ones, like Dynasty Warriors nine. Guess what? Sengoku Basara, on the other hand, Capcom, decided to implement what works in the previous game and then improve it. Like again, from Basara 1 to 2. It's not too different. It's like, from Basara 1 to 2, it's kind of like from Dynasty Wars 3, 4 to 5, right? It's very similar. But when they jump to the next generation, to the next generation console, because Basara 2 years to Basara 3 is from PS2 to PS3, what Capcom did is, okay, we keep what works in Basara 2. Normal attacks, special attacks, it works. The, the combat works in Basara 2. How do we improve this? Okay, instead of pre-equipping the special attacks in the preparation menu, how about we make the special attacks available in combat? So you don't, uh, like, or most of them, right? So you can do five special attacks in combat without changing them in the preparation menu, in the pre uh, other than R2, right? So that's an improvement. And then what happens to Basara 4? 3 to 4. Okay, instead of pre-equipping R2 special attacks, let's have the R2 special attacks switchable during combat. So that's what Basara did. People wanted Koei to improve on what they had in the IC Warriors. Instead of doing a massive overhaul, a half-assed overhaul, guess what? Capcom did it with Basara uh, when, they jumped, uh, when they jumped to a different generation console from PS2 to PS3. What else? Uh... Um, what else did I mention in your comment? Uh, uh, the the third one. I, I just kind of want to. I'm speaking a lot here. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, we want Dynasty Warriors. Uh, people want Dynasty Warriors to have an in-depth combat, right? Uh, it's like a, it's not just a the constant. It's not. not it's not the dumbed down uh, normal. Uh, yeah, it's either a no string of normal attacks or a normal attacks with uh, charge attacks. It's either square, 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 square. Or square square triangle. Guess what? Basara did, did did it earlier. This game, I will always say it. No matter whatever people argue with me, I will always say this. Basara Four Sumeragi is my gold standard when it comes to Musou combat. This game has the most in-depth combat in uh, in a Musou-like game. I know some people say, "Oh, this is not a Musou game because the Musou game is a Koei." Okay, if it's not a Musou game, then I'm gonna call it Musou-like because. It's just a, it's just an easy term for people to describe what it is. 
As some people always thought a Musou game, it's a crowd control hack as I just call it what it is. A Musou game. Or if you don't want to call it a Musou, you just call it Musou like. Because it's kind of like Souls games, right? Yeah, the Souls games are from, from software, but we have Souls like games outside of from software. Koei Tecmo does Souls like games, like Wolong, Neo, Rise of Ronin. We call them Souls game, or because they're not officially Souls, Dark Souls, we call them Souls like games. See? Uh, okay. Um, it's painfully obvious, but as I did write with Hack and Slash, absolutely. I mean, we're talking about de uh, the com uh, the developers of Devil May Cry. Like, Devil May Cry is still considered the one of the best Hack and Slash games ever made. And if there's someone out there, because I remember someone, uh, if there's some, and this is, this combat is almost Devil May Cry level. If someone out there is going to say, um, Dicey Warriors have, um, has better combat or has more in-depth combat than Devil May Cry, I I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry, you gotta play Devil May Cry. Uh, to me, that that, that 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 just screams, you haven't played Devil May Cry. What I don't get in Capcom is also dropping bangers, like DMC, MH, Monster Hunter, Street Fighter. What is Koei even doing with their type? Yeah, like, okay. Um, Capcom has multiple IPs. Now, their biggest focus are Street Fighter, Monster Hunter, and Resident Evil, because those are the top three selling IPs from Capcom. Devil May Cry is kind of like, okay, we have nothing, like, um, we kind of want <coughs> to do something different. Let's do Devil May Cry. Um, the same goes with uh, other series. Mega Man, for example. Mega Man, if they want a, if they want something different other than their most uh, profitable games, they do Mega Man. Basar is one of the more niche, like uh, one of the most, uh, one of the more niche titles in Capcom. So I understand that we don't get a. Oh, I, I'm, I'm still hoping for a new Basar game, but I understand why Capcom hasn't been focused uh, on Sengoku Basar. Although Sengoku Basar has been mentioned quite uh, multiple times in their uh, online, in their you know, in their social media posts, but I can understand why Sengoku Basar is the, uh, the least of their priorities because. They're prioritizing more on the, um, on the, was it? On their profitable IPs, like Monster Hunter, Street Fighter, and Resident Evil. There's collection, uh, edition for DMC 2. Yeah! There's a Devil May Cry HD collection of DMC 1, 2, and 3. Again, the PS2 titles. Resident Evil had a collection as well on the Nintendo Switch. Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. Is the late PS? Oh damn it! It's the late PS2, PS3 titles. Now that now that you mention it. Has Koei ever done a... Oh, well, Koei did a HD collection. Ninja Gaiden. On Steam. Now, I, I mentioned this as well. Uh, am I... Do I look forward for an HD collection of Dynasty Warriors? Not really. If it happens, it's good. But if it doesn't happen, I don't really uh, bother. To me, the again, it, this is just personally. To me, the ship for an HD collection, like or, or, of me wanting an HD collection of Dynasty Wars 3, 4, and 5, has sailed. I mean, if I if I want if I if I wanted to play Dynasty Wars the uh, five, for example, I just emulate. おしまいった。じゃ、行かせてもらうわ。意外と
なんてこったもう、まあ、迷子じゃ豊臣を追われた左人が今なお逃亡を続けているとか<笑>いいお茶だ<笑>いいお手前じゃねえかわびすけ近海に巨大な影を確認<笑>お尋ね者です Wait, we unlock drama out? I want to fight the DQ in a duel. Let's fight him. Uh, let's use the second outfit. Ayumiは決して早くはないけどね。今回も親方様の民を支え導くって姿勢を。厳しい戦が続く中でもじっくり学びものにしたまあそんな青臭さがあだになって石っころにけつまずいて盛大にすっころぶんだけどねそうそうこんなはいはいどうあああ、はい、あなたがいる僕の中に。Wait, I'll finish this、uh, fight for Smiley. Uh oh, this is b a s t a r attack. ボクはこんな戦い。したくないんだ。あ、俺が立ってやってんだろ。矢面。お前じゃすぐにやられちまうだろうがよ。そうそう。ワビスケには気をつけた方がいいぞ。お前の考えなんぞ。そこのそこま
天下三兵衛の揃い踏みだ楽しく行こうかお尋ね者ですで勝つには勝ったんだけどね問題はその後大将前の戦で結構な負荷で追ってたことを隠しててさ終わった瞬間、okay. <笑>直立不動でぶっ倒れてやんのいやー死んじまったと思ったねあの時は I'll fight the shogun でさ押しかがさらにその後そいつが親方様にバレてさこの大バカ者がーってなもんよそしたら大将どうなったと思う気を失ったまま羽根起きやがったのでで、お約束の殴り合いだびっくりだろ普通、瀕死の人間を一気に殴ったりするかい、uh, はいはい、はいはいっとはいはいっとトモよ定めの車輪が導くトモよその奇跡を駆け上がれ<笑>This stage is quite tough, especially when you have to fight the, the Shogun, Ashikaga, at the end. Tandio, okay, I'm signing out. Goodbye. All right, Tandio, thank you for joining. Have a good night. Have a good rest. ギガバサラ熱く燃えたぎれいっぽ全身といったところだなトマよこれぞ定めの車輪番よ Oh, we get extra rage. Hmm. 
ちゃくちゃ言うなこの人あんたにはかまってる暇ないんだよね正直さ一平卒とで御所の森人我らを侮るなかれ足利十三代将軍の御所だわきまえよ<笑>許せざれごとだよくさてどう仕返してやるかな欲のないものは去れ望みのないものは消えよ見事だバサラわが君のため西の立花の本領はこれからです忠義によってはなりません手前は忠義に追われるに戦にやりすぎなんていうもんはないんだぜおけりかぶち今日のライキリは調子いいぞ音で伝わっちゃうよな立ちとは違うのですよ立ちとは輝く瞳命張りしとばを謳歌しているな友よ宗重殿と共に戦えるとはおいの勢乱も喜んだろうはい手前の雷霧も互いの獲物を響かせてあれくりゲットなりましょうあらゆる子を容易に極める剣とはさわしかなるその御前へ立つに足るか拝見をまく世の軍勢は強い少年場だなこれって運命の出会いあの忍び戦に出るのは全部分身だって説もあるぜどうあっても武田を敵にしたいんだおやよここで終わんな幾度でも立ち上がりもっとし合え民よ勝よよしてる様の意のままに燃えよう勝を決するは天下を乗れ貴殿はどう思われますかバンガンとペワカンマカンラマヒットなら。イブスリーピーワンイッティーヨイソーネイナモネスもうよしてしかと感じているぞいやこれ,これも巡り合わせてやったねブレーフォーだろう遠慮なく殺しに来んねえこれで我が軍は随分不利になったぞ次の一手はどうする友よ友よ流れをつかみ追い風に乗ったなその最高の姿こそ世のすべてをかけるには大切だ<笑>ショーガンは待っていまあ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ
殿よ今こそ創世の時さあ友よ名と暗表と裏光と神友よいかなる道を歩んできたか世に聞かせてくれやっと姿を現してくれたなるほど忍びにしておくには惜しい面構えだお褒めに預かり強越しろなんて柄じゃないんだって言ってば俺様はところで目の前の俺様本物でしょうかあ、oh, あ、リミテッドブレイドワークスやは飛びつくだけにあらず天より降り注ぎもするぞ雲の上まで楽しんでもらえているかな、トモよ。そうだな。ここでも少し趣向を凝らしてみようか。トモよ、これが天からの申し送りだ。黒き資格をつき。オムラ全く理にかなってない戦法だと思うけどね。俺様なら、忍びと差しで勝負なんぞごめんだね。いや、イデンドゥザワールド。ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ファニー、ザワールド、You're dead。ようはここまでにだ。トモヨ、トモヨ。人々を導け。捕まえてみな。新しい世界へと捕まえてみなふんふんおーしまいったんじゃ行かせてもらうわ意外と背負ってるものが大きいんだよね俺様大バカ野郎だよ、あの人は。俺様はガキのおもりかっての。Final stage of the normal route. <laughs> 何やら祭り林が聞こえてきますな。Uh, who's our final opponent? Oh, KG. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a festival. サナダの大将とどこでどうやって出会ったかだってうーんどうだったかね悪い覚えてねえわ I prefer Sasuke's winning ending in Basara 3 He uses shadows to keep disappearing alternately 大将と出会えてよかったかっておいおいそんな恥ずかしい質問俺様に答えろっての出会ってよかったかかそうだなあま悪かないんじゃない
Right. Better change the music before I get a copyright strike. Uh, let's see. Hey, hello, Dimitri. Being a big history buff, I appreciate the clarity in your Hideyoshi video. It's easy to talk about cool ideas, but more important to understand context of conflicts among nations. Exactly. Uh... Let's see. Trying to find the perfect music. Ah, here it is. Perfect for the festival theme stage. Yeah, I just wanna, again, like I said, the reason why I'm replacing I'm uh, picking BGM for the final stage of normal route is because let's party with KG is because when you fight the final boss the music goes to TM Revolution double deal and you'll, you'll get a copyright claim not really strike but a claim Oh yeah, I plan to do a marathon of the Sengoku Kubasara anime on Discord. I'm probably going to start that next week. Uh, like next weekend. Because he was constantly partying, yeah. <coughs> I do like one thing about KG in this game, and hello, as a hello Kachan. I do like one thing about KG in this game. Uh, all of his stages are joined with the other Maeda members. Like in Master Two and Three, KG has a separate stage uh, than Toshi and Matsu. I'm just glad that all three Maeda are in one stage. And also, hello, Theo Kurokazi Hartoyo. Ah,
Uh, KG, we're gonna compile a clan. He's not the clan leader. Toshie is the clan leader. In, in history, KG is a vagabond. In fact, KG, uh... KG once served the, uh... KG once served the Osugi. Hello, somewhere in the ocean. Have you checked about a game called Demon Chaos? I want uh, to know your opinion about it. Because I think Konami approached the Muso genre. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I need to play that. I haven't played that. Uh, somewhere in the ocean. But also, thank you for suggesting. I kind of have other games in mind right now um, to play, not just Muso games. Like, I am... I'm going deep into the uh, JRPGs right now. Like, I'm trying out JRPGs. No, I haven't played the MC Peak of Combat. Also, best girl, Matsu. Don't add me, guys. What JRPG are you playing right now? I am playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Well, it's more action RPG, but yeah. I'm not talking about turn-based RPG. I'm talking about um, action RPGs. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, the original, because I don't have the P I don't have a PS5. Uh, well, not original. Remake Integrate on Steam, because uh, Rebirth is not yet on PC. I haven't played Pick Up Combat, by the way, Dimitri. I heard from a lot of people that game is ass. Oh, you mentioned DMC, by the way. Some of Yukimura's moves are from DMC. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's possible to play PS3 games on Android. But I don't know what emulator to use. Like, look at this, Dimitri. This is Dante's move in DMC. See? Let's do it again. Yeah, again, uh, I'm not too big into gacha games, but yeah, so but I haven't played a uh, DMC uh, Peak of Combat. This, for example, Dimitri. This is Dante's move, you know? This multiple stab from Devil May Cry 3. The one that goes, ha, 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 ha. Breakdown. Yeah, Masamune has Stinger. Mitsunari has almost every uh, Virgil moveset. Uh, some of the moves in DMC5 were taken straight from this game. Like, you know, in DMC5, V can do a surfing move with his uh, staff. Yeah, that's, that move was taken from Moto Chica. Breakdown, huh? Masamune has the Dante's uh, D has a DLC outfit where he dresses as Dante in this game. Uh, 
And in Basara Samurai Heroes, Masamune's voice actor is Ruben Langdon. Done. So he's basically just uh, Dante. Uh, people joke his name in Basara Samurai Heroes. Masamune Dante. I got an I got an ad midstream. What do you mean? Oh, you have an ad midstream. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to turn off the ad midstream. But then again, I want to get I'm I'm monetized now, so. Is there a Basara character that you like more in Summer Wars series? For me, I like the Kenshin with Suji in Summer Wars 5. I, I don't really like Kenshin in... Uh, I don't really like Kenshin in Summer Wars 5. I like him in Summer Wars 1 and 1 to 4. Yeah, the, the fact that Kenshin is a clone of Nobunaga, it's just... You know, it, it, it made me don't really like Kenshin a lot. I mean, he's fun to play as, don't get me wrong. So the character that I like in Summer Wars more than Basara? Nobuyuki. Sanada Nobuyuki. I think Samurai Warriors did better uh, with Nobuyuki in uh, Samurai Warriors than he uh, than Basara. Now, in terms of combat depth, of course, Basara Nobuyuki has more combat depth. But in terms of like um, presentation of Nobuyuki, um, I have to say the Samurai Warriors version is better. Nobuyuki, uh, I like Kanbei better in, uh, I like Kanbei better in Summer Warriors. I definitely like Tanakatsu better in Summer Warriors. Uh, Basara Tanakatsu is a little bit too over the top, even for Basara standard in my opinion. Alright, KG. Kurosaki KG. There you go. いかせてもらうわ。意外と背ってるものが大きいんだよね。俺様。と俺様のお話はここまで。どう？結構面白そうでしょ。武田で働きたくなってきたんじゃない？うん。ま、あれだ。みんなが
うちも人手ってやつがいるようでさ。甲斐武田へようこそ。歓迎するよ。雪村。ああれ<笑>うちの名物っつうかなんつうかまあ風物詩みたいなもんだからあんま気にしないでよ<笑>ユキムラやシンゲンドゥイングデルティング。You know, I'm kind of there with no KG in Summer Wars 5. Yeah, KG is not in Summer Wars 5, but his horse is in Summer Wars 5. Matsukaze. Alright,、uh, let's finish the drama route and finish the normal route. はいはい、ちゃんと働きますよ。よはい。とまあ、こん。ほら。Okay, we're fighting now, Tora. Um, you mentioned this somewhere in Ocean, which version I like better. Now, Tora easily, Basara version is better. The,、um, the Summer Wars version of Now Tora is just fan service, and sometimes she gets really annoying. You know? Come in, Asai! Sumimasen! Ah, damn it. I forgot to change the music again. I forgot to remove the,、uh, the, the previous music. My apologies. Yeah, sorry. Excuse me. Then you have badass Naotora in Sego Basara. Who do you think superior, Fuma or Sasuke? Like, okay, the ninja characters like Fuma and Sasuke, I, I like them both. It's hard for me to pick which one is better. Because I, I genuinely like them both. I'm actually surprised, by the way. Hanzo is nev was never a Sego Basara character. If, if there is, like I say, if Capcom yeah, yeah. would approach the idea of a Sengoku Basara 5, the first character I would like to see is definitely Hanzo. That the female warriors of Naldora. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
教えてやらなきゃああなるほどそういう面倒くさい性格の人なわけねところであんたうちの道場欲しがってるってあんなの手に入れてどうしようってのさ<笑>あの道場は男どもの聖地Uh, I definitely like to see old characters for some reason. Well, not for some reason. I would love to see the old characters returning. I do miss them, like Zavi or Yoshimoto and Hong or Honganji. And that girl with the hammer, Itsuki. Yeah, I, I would love to for those characters to appear. Musashi as well. However, like, some of the characters deserve a revamp. For example, I, I would love to see Musashi. Get a revamp, and instead of using wooden swords, you use actual swords. Now let's see how Capcom improves them. Exactly! Um, especially with this combat, right? Especially with Seiyu Basara 4 Sumeragi style combat, where, you, you, uh, where there's a lot of cancel animation. And you can use all the special attacks in one go or in one uh, battle instead of pre-equipping them. Like, uh, example, I would love to see Nohime back, Nobunaga's wife. Now, some people said, well, Nohime is a gunslinger. We already have a better gunslinger, um, Maguichi. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind having two gunslingers, and they play differently. So, if you're familiar with Devil May Cry, Nohime's moveset is based off Ebony and Ivory, right? Dante's Ebony and Ivory. In Devil May Cry, and Magoichi's move set is based of Nero's Blue Rose. I mean, you can have two different gunslingers. Uh, you can have two different gunslingers with completely different move sets. It's not like in, it's not like Dynasty Warriors uh, where. Wait, hold up. Alright, so definitely no Hime could be like a dual wielding gunslinger with a lot of cancel animation. And, and as like I said, um, you can have two characters with similar weapons but different moveset. It's not like in Dynasty Wars 9 or Summer Wars 5 where because you have the weapon switching system, the movesets are tied with the weapon and not the character. Single Kubasa is always about the characters and not the weapons. Exactly, I mean, Nohime has different special attacks uh, than uh, Maguichi. Like, she has that rocket launcher. Well, uh, she has that rocket launcher, but again, it's a ground rocket launcher where she shoots in the ground instead of, you know, so uh, in the air. So, Maguichi is like a mix of Nero's Blue Rose and Lady from Devil May Cry. Yeah, most of Lady's blue set are present in. Magoichi. Yeah, and you can give, um, Capcom can give Nohime her own set of moves. Same goes with archers, right? You have Suruhime in this game. And in Basara 1 and 2, you have Ranmaru. But they play completely different, and if I... If I'm being honest, I actually prefer Ranmaru's gameplay in Basara 2 than Suruhime in 3 or 4. Like, in terms of combat depth, of course, Suruhime has better combat depth than Ranmaru because we're talking about Basara 3 and 4. But just the moveset in general, I, I actually prefer Ranmaru. 
Uh, hey, hello, uh, Samuel. I feel like that's boss out of four has fewer enemies than on screen than three. Uh, I actually think it's the opposite. I always feel like um, I think boss out of four has more enemies on screen, and I I'll give you one reason. Now, there's this one unique, um, unique detail in boss out of three. Okay, I want to discuss this as well. Uh, for for those of you, for all of you who play boss out of three. You notice that whenever you attack a soldier or attack a you know a lesser enemy officers or lesser generals, you notice whenever you attack an enemy, their armor comes off, right? The more you attack them, you see their armor coming off. Now in Bastard of Four, they come off as well, but they you don't they don't show like you don't sh uh, the game doesn't show that the armor comes off, but uh, when you actually defeat them, you see oh yeah the armor is no longer there, so it just kind of disappears instead of uh, comes off. Now. From that alone, like, Boss Out of 4 has a lot of improvements uh, for visuals, but I feel like from that aspect alone where you don't see the um, armor coming off uh, out of the, uh, the enemy soldiers is why I think, uh, or like, why I feel like this game has more enemies on screen. For me, I, I would like to have Kanetsuku playable in Boss Out of 5 that has a move set instead of just a roulette transfer. Yeah, I would love that. Again, Kanetsuku. I know he's a joke character in Masada 4, but I would love to see him as a serious character. Montel, what's up, bro? Are we doing well? <clears throat> I'm about to finish up. <clears throat> Two more stages, I, I guess. Are we doing well, buddy? Uh, by the way, you're streaming today? <clears throat> My God, I, I just choked something. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> 
That's good to hear. <coughs> uh, you streaming anything tonight? Get some water. Yeah, once I'm uh, done with the boss. There you go. Sorry about that. Get ready now, Tora. さらに。涙するのは乙女ばかり。国の行く末、もはや男などに任せておけない。私は直虎。誰よりも下向きなる虎だ。はい、こんにちは。たどり着きましたよ。じゃあ、早速だけど、さっきの質問に答えて。はい
Okay. Uh... Final stage. De Onna Taisho Kara. Ano Otokono Shota Yokida Ste Genzai Ni Tan. Tewake. Hi, hi, do. Hi, hi, do. Onna Taisho Tomokaku. Honda Made Keskaker to Anne. Are you finally are we fighting the Kyushu trio again? Oh no, this time it's Matsunaga. Mikado ちょ、詳細。主役は俺ではない。ニノ、良いのだ。友が好き勝手暴れておるぞ。なるうえは。バッドラックそれに。前にも増して闇が深くなって。いや。何もない。喉、松永が。お前をそんな風にしまった。お前は。忍びは元よりどうさ。使われてこそ価値がある。そういう存在だ。だから。おもちゃじゃない。どこかのバカを喜ばせるだけの。ゲビタ道具になり下がっちゃうからね。無駄だよ。剣が先に表した。ただ一つは戦い自らを磨き上げていくそれが彼を自転残された彼の意志だよそうあんたが仕向けたんだろう黒と出るか赤と出るか定まりの見えぬことよ生きる道を感じずにはおられぬ私は彼から感情をもらい役割をただ一つ送ったそれが彼自身が望んでいたことでもあるなるほど彼の育成材料のつもりで刑を選んだが乗り至ったのは刑だったなやはり、いいのやに本田を呼び寄せてぶつけた
is uh, welcoming us uh, before we fight the boss. It's a nice little detail. And, by the way, you can be a dick to them. They're greeting us, not attacking us. But if you decide to attack them, you can do that. ヨガ望むは人々が輝う熱き時代すべてのものが燦々と輝く生きた時代さあ友よ今こそ創世の時 古き友の目論みはついえたいやそんがいその方こそが本命だったのやもしれんあのささその手のごちゃごちゃした話もうどうだっていいんじゃないこれ様は忍びの技のすべてを駆使してお宅に挑むそう その方の思考の妙義を学ばせてもらうとしよう世にも使える技だといいのだがなったって使うだ俺様の技を俺様の技をおたくはああ世も唯一と言ってもいい特技だがさすがに厄介だなおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
Okay, that's the end of Sasuke's campaign. Okay. <coughs> Let's uh, sell some weapons. Okay, so that's it. We have finished Sasuke's campaign. Uh, we break down his character and we have completed his entire campaign. I mean, he was already maxed during the start of the stream because we maxed his character when we play Yukimura on the last stream. So yeah, that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it's a lovely Monday morning or Monday evening, wherever you are. Hope I, you know, I can bring some joy in this uh, in this Monday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the next Basara stream is going to be Kasuga, everybody's favorite, right? So yeah, Kasuga is going to be the next character to be streamed here. Um, for um, update of content, I am working on a Inuyasha video about Inuyasha Feudal Fairy Tale. I'm doing a review retrospective of that game before I get to Sengoku Basara 2. And I'm I plan to, you know cover single Basar 2 and Basar 2 Heroes in its entirety. It's gonna be... I'm looking forward to that. So look forward to uh, new content in this channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe to the channel. If you haven't... Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, of course, do give me a thumbs up. If you want to hang out with the community, me and others on Discord, link to the Discord server is in the description below. I also plan to do a watch because, again, um, to, you know, uh, with the uh, still within the Sengoku Basar theme, uh, the Sengoku Basar theme of this channel, I plan to do a marathon of Sengoku Basara anime on Discord. So we're gonna watch the Sengoku Basara anime every Saturday starting for next week because um, I'm gonna be busy this week and next uh, week. I will be well, I, I will be in the office this week and next week I'm going to travel abroad uh, for work. I'm going to Malaysia next week. So there's not going to be any stream for I'm um, uh, Monday to Friday next week because I'm working abroad. Uh, I'll be back in the weekends. Uh, I'll be back in the weekends. Um, then we're going to start the Sengoku Basara um, anime marathon. So we're going to do Sengoku Basara Season 1, uh, Samurai King Season 1, Samurai King Season 2, The Last Party, and uh, the Judge End. And we're also going to watch the Gakuen Basara. I'm actually planning to do that. So yeah. Stay tuned for more content on whatever updates I'm going to have in this channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. It's absolutely free. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.